And we're rolling here with the victorious Team Silent Apocalypse, part of Team Impact. Uh, Brian, you yourself are a veteran of the Team Impact. You have uh, fought sharks for them in the past and shown up in previous tag teams. Daryl, you're a new recruit. I just want to ask Brian real quick, how did you bring Daryl into the fold? Uh, apparently, I have the strength and the muscle to be an enforcer of Team Impact. Okay. Um, which is a growing collaboration. It is a very growing, and it's hands down the biggest. They fought last match, and I reluctantly gave the, gave the match to him, but we thought at the end of it we'd make a better composition. So this is like one of those warrior things where you better know each other by fighting. Yeah, you'd rather be, uh, you know, you yeah. keep your enemies close, but then you tighten up with those enemies and become an unstoppable force. Once again, a good reason why we don't actually use guns and swords while doing Super Art Fight, or else you'd be joining as cripples. So that would be less entertaining. Um, Silent Apocalypse, I do have to apologize. Previous interview, I did accidentally call you guys Silent Impact, which continues my streak of never correctly getting your name right. Uh, so we'll just skip right past that, and we'll actually talk about your match itself. You guys went with... No, I had to have written this down wrong, because I wrote down Betty White, and that doesn't make sense. It's Betty fucking White. Okay. So, from here on out, the Wheel of Death throws evil balloons, unlikely Shakespearean actors... Not exactly topics that have a lot of impact to them. Challenging, yes, but as long as you can get the crowd to understand what your, what your cause is. I went with Carrot Top. That's a tough reference. Everybody wants to forget about Carrot Top. Yeah. We wish we could erase him from our brains. But who wants to see him? Acting Shakespeare. Okay. Not a soul. So the announcers got it, the crowd got it, it worked. I think that is actually the first time the phrase, the crowd got carrot top, has ever been used correctly. Uh, it's so rarity, <laughs> and it probably takes more than carrot top to pull it off. Now, we really showed our Baltimore roots in this match uh, with the Meanwhile in Patterson Park. Uh, Brian, how often do you go to Patterson Park? Never, and never been there. Myself, in a long, long way. I understand the nuances of the lovely scenery that is located in Patterson Park, downtown Baltimore. What is the most lovely thing you've seen happen in Patterson Park? Well, let's call it I have heard firsthand some stories because the things that I drew, I would never claim to have witnessed. What did you actually draw? I just took some of the other team's art and um, transferred it to Patterson Park Transvestite Hookers. I mean, what else are you going to do? Go for the throat. Which, by the way, when you're trying to find a transvestite hooker, go for the throat is the actual technique you're supposed to use. Uh, at that point, the Wheel of Death gives you a final topic, which could be the absolute epitome of Team Impact with rock and roll. At that point, did you feel like the wheel was just giving it to you? I thought something's going to happen at this round, yeah. Okay. That, that was probably the crux. And we do have an amazing crowd there tonight. Uh, we're, we're shattering decibel records. And then you guys pulled a 108.6. Like, Record-breaking from what I hear. Uh, from, since we started taking uh, notes on how our decibel levels have been, we broke the overall decibel record tonight. Uh, for you guys, could you actually feel it at that point? Yeah, what better than bringing the decibels in the rock and roll? Well, that was a great closer. Um, I, it's, it's the first time I, I'm new to the tag element, and I just, I had to, you know, I think you, you seize the moment, and they were drawing some crazy robotic thing that was kind of, uh, I couldn't quite tell what was going on, but I knew it had to be a guitar. So I took it upon myself to go in and tag Brian, and and we kind of formulated. But is it fair, Brian, for you to be contributing to the noise when the decibel reader is being made? That's the perfect juxtaposition of irony. No, wait. Sorry, Brian. Let him answer. You're being too loud. So, say again, Daryl? I think that the, the principle of the man called Silent But Violent 
generating record grade noise from the crowd, what more could you ask for? What happens to Team Impact if the Silent Apocalypse and the original Team Impact have to face each other as a tag team? We don't, we don't think I had to cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. And that's the orders now. That has been Silent Apocalypse with Silent But Violent and Daryl Apocalypse Now.